Hello, I'm Suzanne Yates and I'm going to give you some ideas of what exercises can be helpful if there is pain in the pubic bone. Each woman is individual and there can be very mild pain in the pubic bone and there can be more extreme pain in the pubic bone. So you have to feel into which particular movements are going to be suitable for each person. But I'm going to go through some ones that tend to be more suitable. Because the main thing is, if there's pain in the pubic bone, it's due to excess movement in the, in the pelvis caused by the hormonal shifts in pregnancy. So that the things that are going to make this worse are putting more weight down through the pubic bone. So that's going to be something that happens naturally as the baby gets heavier, but is often aggravated by women holding, probably not a baby this age, but holding their, their other child if they had two pregnancies fairly close together and holding the baby, that's going to increase the weight, but also it's going to put the pelvis slightly in an asymmetrical position. So obviously, depending on your age, the age of the other baby, be aware of limiting the amount that you carry the baby, but certainly things like heavy bags of shopping. Avoid carrying anything that you don't need to. So that's the weight. There's also that opening movement, which is going to create more opening. We can see, it, obviously, it's quite obvious this movement will, but even something like walking is moving it in this direction. So walking, again, maybe minimise walking, take smaller steps or find other ways of moving. But it's not, this is in more extreme cases, you just have to feel for you. So with the standing, you still want to get movement because movement's helpful, not just for you, but for your baby. So you want to be doing movements standing that have the knees, more in line with the pelvis so that you're not opening more. So all squatting, things like that, reduce those, or well, don't do those. Um, but you could do maybe a little bit of circling movement, just standing, circling. But what may be even better than standing upright is one of my favorites, leaning against a tree, if you've got a tree, just leaning forward, because that's straight away take some of the weight away from the pubic bone. So that's a good way if you want to stand, if you're comfortable standing, because also you get a nice stretch to the arms, the chest and the back of the legs. If that's too much, again, you have to be careful how you move, maybe just leaning against something, leaning forward and just circling. So those can be helpful exercises to do. So the next thing is, we can't do all the squatting. We could do arms above the head. There are some exercises we can do on the ball. I have a separate one for the ball. But the main thing is on the ball, either on all fours or sitting, that the knees are more in line with the hips. So we come down, how do we get down? Actually, sometimes it could be good to use the chair or it could be good to use the ball because we need to just, again, minimise this movement as we come down. So at some point you are going to have to separate the legs, but if you do it really slowly and perhaps if you're holding on to something, then you can work your way down to the floor because all fours is really the best one of the best positions because clearly we have a lot less weight coming through the lower back. We can keep our knees in line with the hips and we can do the very simple forward and backward movement. But clearly we don't want to go too far forwards or too far back. We just need to feel how the movement can support us. So just a very simple circling movement can be good doing one way and the other way. These can be done over a ball. Uh, I'll show you the ball ones in a separate video. But without the ball, you can just do some nice rocking and circling and just play around for a while, but no lifting up <laughs> the legs. And possibly this one, but even this might be too much. So just more 
keeping with the forward and backwards, the circling, but also the cat stretch. That's a really good one because often people with pelvic instability can be hypermobile. So it's actually quite a good exercise to just keep that lower back flat and not to hollow. Just focus on the cat stretch and coming to the flat back position. But in fact, one of the best positions is this knee to chest because you really are taking the weight off the pelvis, off the pubic bone. And again, maybe some circling could be good in that position, could feel comfortable. It's really a lot about feeling what is comfortable for you. If you're comfortable in this position, resting here can be great. And then a nice one, I will just get a shawl for this one to give you an idea. Um, it's a sitting exercise. So you can sit. So again, you have to be really careful how do you go down. You might need to use a chair or something. Then you come to sit. And again, of course, there's got to be a bit of movement. But if you're not in a standing position, there's going to be less weight coming through the pubic bones. It's really about being aware how you can move. I mean, ideally a, a, a band or something or a shawl, because this can be quite a nice position. You're very symmetrical. You've got your arms above your head, nice lengthening for the spine. And then depending on how comfortable you are, you might have to have the legs a little bit apart, but not too far. You can then use a shawl and just get a nice stretch. So again, a nice stretch for the whole of the back and the back of the legs. And this is obviously so that you're not hunching over because we want to keep an opening in the front of the body as well. So when you're sitting, you want to pay attention to having, this is a better, a good, quite a good sitting position. Knees, ankles, hips aligned. So again, moving from this sitting position, try and keep the knees and maybe you can come I'm just coming back to a kneeling position to finish off and say thank you and I hope that's given you a few ideas of how you can move even if you have quite severe pelvic instability. Mm -hmm.